We just finished creating a 59 minute strip layout for this complex box terminal and let's say it was for estimating purposes so we cheated a little bit. But what will happen, let me zoom in on this area, for example once we get the order for the tool we need to update this strip. For example in this area that won't be parallel. There will be an angle there and that's how all terminals like this end up being. So let's open this annex part and you can see this line is straight right here and that won't be straight when we get done so we're going to update it. So we're opening the reference part here and rolling back and let's unsuppress these first two features to show our split line and then we're going to go back into LogoPress 3 blank for stamped part and we'll deselect these two edges. That's what made it straight before. And then edge number one will unlock that in the X direction. And then we'll also pick this point and we'll lock that up in the X and Y direction. And then we'll compute. And that will allow that leg to move as it will move in real life. So we will be very, very close without needing to do any major development. There, now that leg is on an angle. Or those legs, however you want to put it. Let's suppress this again. And then we need to roll all the way down to where we cheated, if you will, and unbent this back crimped area. So we'll roll back to here and that's the area that we previously unbent and that's why it remains straight. So we'll start out by using LogoPress 3 faces merging and create a surface on here and then roll up to here and there's what we unbent that's what we're going to get rid of so we'll delete this unbending and delete absorbed features like so and then we will edit this delete body and that's where we deleted those two lofts and we'll also delete that and now we'll roll back to the boss extrude and we've got dangling relations in the sketch. So we'll edit that sketch and display. See there's the dangling relations. We'll display those and show only the dangling relations and delete all of those. And OK. And one of those is back here. So we'll reattach that point. Now it's fixed, not dangling anymore. And now we will set our sketch to dynamically mirror about that center line and use a shortcut key to draw a line from here to here. I simply type L on my keyboard and we'll offset that by 80 thousands. I know already that that's how wide that was. Reverse it. And finally line across the top. And then we'll zoom in and use our shortcut key for trim, which we have assigned as a T. Maybe different on your keyboard. And OK to that. Validate the sketch. And there we are. Now we've got the angle along this surface as opposed to a straight line. Now we need to add the chamfers because when we deleted that other body, the chamfers went with it. And I know that it's 8,000 steep and a 60 degree or 30 degree angle, however you measure it. Reverse that and do this one and validate. And then finally 
roll forward to here. And we'll edit this sketch. And convert these entities because when we redid that boss, some of those went dangling. And we'll set these to construction as they were so we won't have any errors anymore. And then actually we need to roll back up here because I believe, yeah, this is where we need to cut out this extrude. Or not the extrude, we need to cut the chamfer here. So we'll use cut with surface. And then shortcut key to delete that body that we just used to cut with that one and right click so we're forming up the crimp ends like so and then we show it in the lens shear position after that's flattened and then coining the chamfers on the bottom And then where we got rid of the chamfers here, we need to delete these two because these are new, so it didn't recognize them. There we go. Then continue to roll forward, coining the three wire grippers, deleting those, and coining the cutoff area. And then before it's coined, it's not. So we use delete face feature again to get rid of that. And finally the fillets. And we know there will be a problem with the fillets. There are edges that don't exist because we had cut that away. So it doesn't recognize the edges anymore. And you can see by these red lines where the fillets were. And there we go. And now some of them were missing, so yes, say validate that. Now let's take these fillets, and actually they ought to be higher up in the tree. So we'll drop them right there, and then they'll show up later on in the part than they would have before if we would have left it at the bottom. Okay, so our reference part here is updated. Save. And then we'll go to the annex part. And there you can see that back leg is still straight. So we use the logo press 3, update the stations of the annex part used in the strip. And yes, we'll rebuild it. And again, that back leg that is now straight and parallel will be on an angle. like so. Okay, so now we'll switch over to the strip assembly and we'll see that that will update but we'll see some errors in the tree as well and we'll get back to that in just a few minutes and fix the punches.